As archaeologists, when we're thinking about Mus Farm, um, we're putting this into the chronology of the Bronze Age. And the Bronze Age is a long period of time, over, over a thousand years in Britain. And so we try and break that down into smaller chunks. So when we're thinking about, or for me, when I'm thinking about the textiles in the Bronze Age, I tend to group them into sort of the early Bronze Age, a long time period from around 2000 BC, and then the late Bronze Age from around 1000 BC for, for several hundred years. And Must Farm falls into that late Bronze Age group at around 850 BC. So the, the textiles of the late Bronze Age in the British Isles are quite va varied. There's really just a handful of them, um, but there's some interesting techniques and materials that they're made from. So there are examples of textiles that are made from uh, bast fibres, these are plant fibres, um, things, like, uh, things like nettle and flax, and there's also then the, um, the protein fi fibres, the animal fibres that come from the hair of different animals. So we think of the sheep, um, sheep's wool was certainly used by the late Bronze Age, but also there's some interesting finds that are made from um, cow hair and horse hair. So there's, there's a quite a diversity there in those late Bronze Age uh, fibre materials. So when we think about the late Bronze Age um, textile techniques, we're talking about weaves that we categorise as plain weaves. These are the most simple um, weaving technique where the, the threads cross over in a simple one under, one over formation. So you have the, the warp threads of a textile going down, the weft threads going across, and the plain weave simply that, that weft will go one over, one under, and then alternate in the, in the next row. And the, this creates um, a weave, a little bit like your tea towels, something like that. That's, that's a plain weave textile. There's also, in the, from the early Bronze Age, we know there's other techniques beyond simply making textiles. Um, there are other te fibre techniques, so working with fibres and, and um, creating cords, that don't fit into that category of textiles, but nevertheless create a type of fabric. And the category for the Bronze Age is, that is particularly important is twining. And this is a technique that we might be most familiar with through um, through these. I don't know um, if you ever had these uh, beach mats when you went on holiday. Beach mats made from plant fibres with a little green band sewn around the edge. This was a technique a little bit similar to twining technique, as in um, in, in the type of fabric that it made. And so in the Bronze Age, twiny technique was something that we find um, very small fragments of um, across different sites, and particularly in the early Bronze Age. By the late Bronze Age, the context that we find things in is a little bit different, so we don't tend to find the twining. But that's another type of fabric that's um, known in the British Isles in the Bronze Age, and that's made from plant fibres. Bast fibres are plant fibres. And they're a particular category of plant fibres. So if we think about all sorts of different plant fibres, um, this includes fibres that come from the seed ball of the plant, so cotton, the, the fibres are around the seed ball. Um, the fibres could be from the leaves. So I've mentioned um, bass fibres that come from flax and nettle. And so where do they come from in the plant? They come from the stem of the plant and, and I brought in these um, nettles so that uh, we could have a look at where they come from. So the bass fibres are just underneath the epidermis. They're fibre bundles that run all the way up the stem of the plant. Um, and I'll, I'll show you where they are in the plant. So there's a, there's a central woody core that I'm just sort of snapping in the plant at the moment. And then if we open up the, that stem, I'm taking out that woody core of the plant there. And I'm stripping off 
those fiber, oh, fiber bundles and a leaf in this case. And so what we have here is the epidermis and the fiber bundles. Um, and this is where the fibers come from in bast fiber bearing plants. So bast fibers come from plants such as nettle and flax, and these are annual plants. They grow every year. Um, you'll have seen nettles grow up and die down um, in the autumn and winter. But bast fibers also come from really big plants. So they can come from trees as well. So trees such as lime, uh, and willow, they have bast fibres and they come from just the same area of the plant. They come from just beneath the bark of the tree. And so if, if you remove the bark um, carefully from the tree, so not to kill it, so maybe from a, a branch that's a branch that's carefully taken off or, or, or uh, that's fallen, if you remove the bark, you can find those um, bast fibres under, underneath there. 